हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ अ स्फीयर ऑफ टायर सिक्सटी व्हिच इज रेस्टिंग सेंट्रली ऑन अ स्क्वायर बेस प्रिज्म ऑफ बेस एज हंड्रेड एंड हाइट ट्वेंटी this video is very important uh, because here we'll also learn the difference between isometric view and isometric projection with the help of sphere right so square base prism of base edge 100 and height 20 i have already prepared you can check the dimensions both the side angle is 30 degree as we are using in isometric view and projection this is 100 this is 100 so Uh, one video is already available in the playlist that how to prepare the isometric view of a square base prism right so you can go through that and i hope till now you, it is very clear to you ki how to prepare the square base prism so now question is how to place this sphere how to place this sphere on this prism so one very thing one thing is very clear ki if you will see this sphere from any angle on 2d plane it will be projected as a circle like you are playing football cricket etc so you can see the sphere always projected as a circle on 2d plane right so we will draw a circle of radius 30 but how to draw this we'll see this now so it is resting centrally on a square base prism so let's find out the let's mark the center line here the so total dimension is 50 sorry total dimension is 100 so this one will be 50 midpoint take the midpoint of all the sides here we'll draw the center line from midpoint to midpoint can you guess which type of line it is yes it's a chain type of line chain type line is used to represent the center of the object or axisymmetry now this is the centroid of this surface to so, isometric view of a sphere of dia 60 if sphere is resting here so this will be the point of contact this is the point of contact this one pc point of contact now from point of contact to the center of sphere the sphere dia of 60 so if dia 60 then radius will be 30 means point of contact to center of sphere for example let's suppose the sphere is placed here so what will be the difference distance between point of contact to the center of sphere Yes, that will be equal to radius. So, dia sixty, radius will be thirty. So now this point is the center of the sphere. Means from this point we have to draw the circle. From this point we have to draw the circle. very simple to understand if the football is placed or any sphere is placed on this object so what will be the distance between point of contact to the center of the sphere that will be equal to radius so this is center of sphere now we'll draw the circle this is 30 to I hope now you will you think that I am going to draw a circle with radius thirty. This dimension is thirty. So now I am going to draw a circle. 
but that is incorrect because if we draw the circle with radius 30 it will touch the point of contact that is correct but in isometric view point of contact should not be visible how the point of contact will be visible to you if the football is placed on ground can you see its points of a uh, point of contact no the point of contact is not visible so that's why this video is very important here we'll understand the logic here the radius is 30 so i will multiply it with 1.22 that will be equal to 36.6 so i will draw the circle with radius 36.6 i will tell you that what is the reason here So from this center, center of the sphere, we will draw a circle. Now you can see the point of contact is hided. And obviously when you will see the isometric projection or isometric view of the object, the point of contact will not be visible to you. Very simple example, Ki whenever a football is placed on ground, you cannot see the point of contact. So this is point of contact and this is the center of sphere. But when you are drawing the circle, increase the radius by 1.22. Right? Now we'll understand this part. What is the logic here? This is the major part, main part of this lecture. Logic. What's the logic here? See here basically two terms are there. Isometric view and isometric projection. Here this is isometric projection and isometric view. Length, width and height. The object any object is having three dimension length width and height when you see the isometric projection of the object practically you can see this is front view this is top view this one is side view this is the 15 centimeter scale front view so in front view you can see 15 centimeter in top view you can see 15 centimeter but if you see the isometric projection you cannot see true dimensions of the object these dimensions will be reduced so how much dimension is visible? Only 81.6% dimensions are visible. Now we are preparing 100. But practically in isometric projection you can see this one. So how much we are preparing? We are following 100%. Length, width and height. In isometric projection it is 81.6. How it is 81.6? A video has been already up uploaded. The uh, link is available in description box. So we are preparing isometric view, not projection. So in isometric view, we are following 100% dimension, two dimensions. So now let's go for die of sphere. Here, what's the problem? Key length, width and height is getting reduced. But if you'll see any football, any sphere from any angle, dia will be 100%. Please, I'm going to repeat this. Practically, in isometric projection, length, width and height is projected as 81.6% only. But how much you are drawing? 100% just for your ease. Because in both the cases, the drawing will be same. Only there will be a difference of scale. This will be at 81.6% scale. This will be at 100% scale. Here you can see this was 100. So we have prepared 100. Practically it, was, it will be 81.6. So now in isometric view. Length, width and height is 100. So here the die of the sphere. You can use the unitary method here. So this will be 122%. You can use the unitary method here. Like if this is 81.6, the die of the sphere is 100. So in case of isometric view, if length, width and height is 100%, so die of the sphere should be followed as 122% just for the
compensation here. So you can just divide this part like uh, 81.6. So this is 100. Sorry, uh, if this is 81.6, so this is isometric view is 100. This is 1, then this is 100 by 81.6. So if the die of the sphere is 100 here, so here it should be. 100 by 81.6 into 100 so 122% will be there you can just go through this last time I'm repeating this two drawings are there isometric projection and isometric view practically length width and height is 81.6% only that is practically projected but you are drawing 100% just for your ease in case of sphere, dia of the sphere is visible 100%. So to maintain the ratio of the drawing, to maintain the equal ratio, we have to multiply with 122% to maintain the ratio. If this is 81.6, this is 100. So if this is 100, this one should be 122% dia of the sphere. So this is the difference between isometric projection and isometric view. Uh, I'll give you one more example here. <coughs> For example, here you want to make this sphere. So first we have to find out the point of contact. So this is the center. So it's from here you can mark the point. Uh, this is point of contact. Now we'll take the center of sphere. This is the center of sphere. Now from this center of sphere, we will draw the circle, but with increased radius. Now you can see point of contact is hided. So here, sometimes the students are getting confused, sir, why you are increasing this? So here also you are increasing this. Here also you have increased it was visible 81.6 percent only but how much you are drawing more than visibility that is 100 percent here i will write practically projected and here one here this one is assumed or you can say two dimensions two dimension just for your ease for length width and height visibility 81.6 you are drawing 100 in case of sphere the visibility will be 100 percent because if you will see the sphere from any angle the dial will remain same so just for the compensation you have to increase this you can see this if unitary method if 81.6 you are drawing 100 if visibility 1 it is 81 100 by 81.6 So if the dia of the sphere is 100%, then you have to draw 122% in isometric view. So that is the difference between isometric view and projection. Still, if you have any doubt or any question, please post your comments. I'll reply you and subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you so much.